Nem nem lett. How did you find that? Nem nem lett. Wow, that dude is cold blooded, huh, guys? So what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is your man with a plan, Endorphin Rush 23. And I'm pretty excited to bring you this gameplay here. Uh, I'm rocking out the USAS 12 with the suppressor. And you might be thinking, what, what kind of idiot runs this setup? Now don't, first of all, don't call me an idiot, all right? <laughs> Second of all, this setup is actually pretty darn good. Uh, if you, if I was to recommend any shotgun with a suppressor, it has to be the USAS. I mean, did you see? I'm getting some pretty nice one-shot kills with this gun, even from distance. But, and I've tried, I've experimented with the all the other shotguns putting the silencer on it, and this has by far been the best. And it's actually a really kind of like a neat little ninja setup. Because the silencer keeps you off the radar, and you can pretty much run free, free nature all over, really. But yeah, today I kind of wanted to talk about a couple different things. Uh, number one is I cannot recommend Sitrep Pro enough. <laughs> I just unlocked it not too long ago, as I mentioned in one of my videos before. And what what the heck was this guy doing sitting in the corner? A lot of corner campers in Sea Town. But yeah, Sit Rep Pro, it almost feels like you're in the action. It, <laughs> Sit Rep Pro in a headset is pretty much, it gives you a high percent chance of getting a MOAB for sure. Because, especially if you play Ground War, because not a lot of people rock the Dead Silence. But I've been seeing it a lot more for, you know, in the past few days. I think people are starting to kind of catch on to the Sit Rep Pro and how good it is. but. Yeah, I uh, also wanted to talk about Ground War, and I had a couple ideas for improving Ground War. I pretty much exclusively play Ground War unless I play like with a couple of real life friends, because it is just, you know, complete action all the time, it seems like. Every time you turn a corner, there's like a guy, you know, to shoot at, so... And I don't understand why they brought S and D into the Ground War playlist. It kind of totally defeats the purpose of Ground War because S and D is such a slow-paced game that I don't know. It just doesn't really fit. If they were to add anything, I think it would probably be like Demolition or maybe even Capture the Flag would be kind of a neat choice for Ground War. But one thing I really would like to see. Maybe, hopefully they incorporate this in Black Ops 2, but it's a mercenary playlist. Because I hate, I play solo most of the time, and I hate running into just full parties of like eight people. And you just get totally destroyed. I mean, in a 6v6 game type, well, you got the mercenary option, but if you were to play regular uh, by yourself, you can almost kind of hold your own and still do pretty decent. But if you play 9v9 and it's another group of like 8 people, you stand no chance whatsoever. Here's the Moab, guys. I, I was, man, my heart was beating so fast because I was uh, getting pretty excited to get it. There, I got two Moabs this prestige. But yeah, I just skipped to. Here, I'm going to let the this guy's voice play over during this. It was kind of funny. Let's take it to the Oh yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what he said. But yeah, uh, that's the gameplay there. Uh, we end up winning the game. And I uh, go 63 and 12. But alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you later.